Salamander diversity is really great here in the southeastern United States. We have more species of salamanders in uh, Tennessee and North Carolina than most countries combined. Uh, what's really cool about this area is like what we did today, you can go down to a vernal pool in uh, February to April and you can find mass migrations of uh, salamanders, in particular the uh, mole salamanders. I mean today we found several hundred if not a thousand spotted salamanders and uh, mole salamanders. Uh, these animals can actually migrate uh, to the pond and from the pond up to a couple hundred yards, even more than that in some cases. Uh, these animals can live up to 20 years and they come back to the same pond every year to reproduce. Uh, their eggs, they can produce up to uh, 200 eggs in a single uh, clutch. So what they like to do, the females go into the water and try to find a stick or a piece of vegetation and lay their eggs, it kind of wraps around them. We were marking individuals, in, in particular larvae and maybe pedomorph individuals of the mole salamander, and we're using elastomer tags, uh, which are small uh, pieces of plastic that you can inject barely under the skin, so they're really non-invasive. And you use a black light and you flash it over the salamander's skin and you can see the different colors. And we were using yellow, green, and red. It's really easy to get kids out in nature in these vernal pools at this time of year because you have thousands and thousands of animals coming to one location and you know they're going to be there within you know a three-week time period and what fascinates these kids the most is just the, the amount of biomass I mean you some of the pictures you got today is just you have handfuls of handfuls of really large salamanders so these aren't small uh, stream salamanders that are uh, very sometimes very drab and very tiny these are you know large large salamanders and they're really robust and they're really they're real, I always find them really uh, interesting that they're, they're, they're chunky, I guess you would call them. And hopefully what we'll get from this is a detection probabilities, abundance estimates, but also if we can get any kind of movement behavior. Uh, so if you release uh, individual A on this side, did you catch it across the pond the next day or two days from now, which would be interesting to see.